Hello friends, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I have here this uh, iPhone 6 and it's disabled. So today I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. By the way, the method that I'm going to show you on this video, it will work for all the iPhone 6s. That means iPhone 6, 6s, 6s Plus and 6 Plus. All of them is the same thing. Also, it will work for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and up with like uh, some very very minor differences okay so to do this job or to fix this phone you just need a USB cable the one that you are using to charge the phone and you will need a computer and you will need an internet connection okay so let's go to the computer to the web all right so I'm here in the computer now and uh, what I need to do first I need to connect this cable here to the USB port on the computer then I will plug the phone here so once I plug the phone to the computer the iTunes window is gonna open here so let me show you I'm gonna plug it now and I'm not gonna do anything so on the computer you see it's searching now the iTunes should open so we have now the iTunes windows once I uh, have the iTunes Windows, it tells me here iTunes could not connect to this phone and an unknown error occurred. Don't worry about it, just close this Windows and we will have here iTunes. By the way, for those who doesn't have iTunes, it's very easy. Let me put, uh, let me minimize this one. You just need to go to Google and type on the search. Let me show you. So you're going to just come here to Google and you're going to type on the search iTunes download. Okay, so I have it here. So this is the link. I'm just going to hit enter. And you see here, go to the download. Then you can download it. Okay. And once you download the iTunes, you need to install it and uh, you're going to finish from there. All right. So let me close this window. So we already have iTunes here, right? So now what I need to do, we're going to go back to the phone. So I need, what I need to do here, I need to put this phone into the recovery mode. So the recovery mode or the iTunes mode is the mode that allows you to connect the phone to the computer and do the changes on it. If you want to like update it or restore it or whatever. Okay, so we have to put this iPhone on the iTunes mode. I just need to push the home button and hold it, then the power button. But remember, while the cable is connected, if you are not, if the cable is not connected, you're not gonna go to the iTunes mode or the recovery mode. So I'm gonna push the home button, holding it, and they will hold the power button, and keep holding both buttons at the same time until I see connect to iTunes. Keep holding. okay keep holding don't release both buttons all right so now the phone is on the itunes mode as you see so now it will show me here this windows as you see this windows popped up here so it gives me two options update or restore so in my case because i don't know what is the password on this phone i will just restore it okay so to restore it it will uh, i mean by restoring it i will delete all the information on the phone and everything gonna be lost and the phone will start fresh and if you have an apple id on the phone you will need uh, the right apple id and its password if you don't have it you're gonna stuck right there and you cannot move to the next step but if you already remember your password you just like for some reason got uh, your phone got disabled you can do the update if you don't want to lose your information just hit update and the phone will give you the chance to put the password one more time all right so in my case i don't know what is the password and the owner of this phone he already knows what is the apple id and its password so that's why i'm just going to hit restore and also he doesn't care for the information that he have on the phone so remember update it will give you the chance to put the password one more time or maybe a couple more times and restore will delete everything on the phone and bring your phone back like uh, to the manufacturer settings so I will hit restore so once I hit restore the phone 
gonna stay in this mode like this let me just push it down then here it tells me are you sure you want to restore the iPhone and you can read this text if you want to see what is telling you there so for me I'm just gonna confirm restore and update and once I restore and update what's gonna happen if you have the software or the firmware already already downloaded to your uh, your computer the phone gonna go to the extract option here extracting software but if the software is not downloaded you will see a small circle here in this side and it tells you how long it's gonna take to download the firmware I already downloaded the firmware sometimes the firmware takes like uh, hours to download maybe 45 minutes one hour two hours it depends on your uh, internet speed and uh, the phone during the the wait time the phone gonna get out from this iTunes mode so once the download finish you need to do the uh, the same steps that we sh I showed you how to bring the iTunes mode like this in the beginning all right so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna wait until the software gets extracted and once it's finished it will do the the next step by itself so I don't have to do anything I'm just gonna leave the phone aside and wait for maybe a couple uh, I think 15 minutes or more to all the process finish so what I'm gonna do now I will just pause the video and they will come back once the next step is coming so the phone will reboot sometimes maybe a couple times and then it will uh, finish when we go to the computer here it looks like it's finished so I'm just waiting for this step to get done all right here in the here in the computer it shows me that it's connecting to the iPhone Voila, as you see here on the computer, it tells me that this phone has a iCloud and uh, the owner of this phone, he already knows what is the iCloud, so we need to put the iCloud here, the Apple ID in this box, then the password, then we're going to hit continue. So that's why I mentioned in the beginning that if you don't know what is the Apple ID and the password on the phone, you're still going to stuck on this screen and you cannot use the phone at all okay so let me just wait here to see the main screen it takes too long all right so now the phone is in the activation screen so here we just need to select the language then we're gonna select the country then we're gonna go to set up manually here then we need to connect the phone to the Wi-Fi and after that the phone will ask for the Apple ID okay so if you have the Apple ID you can just put the Apple ID and hit next 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 until you go to the home screen but if you don't have the Apple ID you're gonna stuck right here you cannot go anywhere and you cannot use this phone all right guys so i hope that this video helped you to solve your problem if it does please hit the thumbs up also share this video with friends and if you have any questions i am professional in this field just feel free to ask all kind of technical questions and i'll get back to you as soon as i can peace see you in the next video have a wonderful time